Well, from there, let's go to the capital, Islamabad. And joining me from there, Musharraf Zaidi, a political analyst and former advisor to the Pakistani government. If it does look like a, a Nawaz Sharif return, perhaps with Imran Khan holding the balance of power, how's that going to change Pakistan's relationship with the West, with America and Britain, if at all? I don't, I don't think we're looking at a very substantial change in the relationship. Nawaz Sharif has spent the last five years uh, getting to know, uh, you know, the, the world after Musharraf, uh, the U.S. diplomats, U.K. diplomats, the Western world in general, uh, is, has been in touch with Sharif and with Imran Khan. They know where they stand on, on the major issues. Uh, the only substantial foreign policy change uh, will be the implications of Pakistan pr probably pursuing a more reconciliatory uh, sort of line with the, uh, with the Taliban based in Pakistan. But beyond that, in terms of its relationship with India, its relationship with Afghanistan, and certainly its relationship with the UK and the US, uh, I don't expect that there'll be any substantial changes to uh, how Pakistan positions itself. Well, what's going on with Imran Khan? I mean, you know, for 20 years, he's struggled to be taken seriously, and all of a sudden, he's a player, a political player. Well, you know, th this struggle that he's been through uh, over the last 17 years to develop this political party uh, has, has finally sort of come to fruition. It's finally paid off. Uh, most people are predicting somewhere between 30 and 40 seats for his party. Uh, that's up from zero uh, over the last five years. And the highest ever showing his party has had is one, and that was the seat that he won himself in 2002. So this is a huge moment, and if you can hear, uh, because I certainly can, if you can hear the, 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 the noise on the street, Islamabad is, uh, is full of revelry right now because both Islamabad seats for the National Assembly have been won by his party. Um, he's been able to mobilize the youth in a really unprecedented way, and so maybe he's ushering in a new generation into Pakistani politics, and that's quite significant. Now, you, you, you mentioned that the relationship with the Pakistani Taliban might be slightly different under this new government. And that's obviously the great challenge to actually maintain political stability in Pakistan under the threat from militant uh, Islamism. I mean, how can that be pulled off? And, and what is the threat towards a new government from that? Well, the threat obviously is that sustained violence in Pakistan is going to turn off investors. It's going to scare Pakistan's friends all over the world. Pakistan's potential friends and current friends. And so it's a problem that Pakistan has to come to terms with and deal with. But I think what's happened today, this election, and the way that people came out, uh, we're looking at a record turnout in terms of the number of people that came out to vote. And that very act itself is an act of rebellion. It's an act of uh, revolt by the Pakistani people against the fear that the Tariq Taliban Pakistan has tried to inculcate in the Pakistani discourse. Over and over and over again, over the last three or four months, the Taliban has said, we're going to bomb uh, polling stations, we're going to come after your most popular political parties, we're going to destroy any chance you have of having a democracy. Today, Pakistan has proven that it's not going to be bullied by the Taliban and that the Pakistani people are going to come out and choose their future leadership the way they see fit, and that's what they've done. Musharraf Zaidi, thank you very much indeed. And you can follow the progress of the Pakistan elections on our website, channel4.com forward slash news.